Well, rescuing others and doing the right thing is nothing new for our next guest. Now, Matt Dunbar is a Columbus police officer, and this year he's made a different type of rescue, one that's changed his life and opened his heart. That is certainly the case. Matt helped to rescue his new friend Barney right here with the help of the Beagle Project. And he joins us now with more. Talk to us a little bit about the Beagle Freedom Project, if you would. Talk to us about how it started and kind of what the mission is, if you will, sir. Yeah, the Beagle Freedom Project, actually, they just celebrated their uh, fourth anniversary back on December 23rd. That was the date of their uh, first rescue. Um, the Beagle Freedom Project, it's not just for beagles, but due to the fact that, you know, beagles are the main dog used, that is, uh, they, they, they rescue... It's okay. So they, they rescue the animals from being used or tested in um, after they've been tested from laboratories. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, their, their, their goal is to, to rescue all dogs from laboratories. The main goal is to stop animal testing altogether. But right now, they, they know, realize that that's not a realistic goal. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they try to um, make a deal with the laboratories to release the dogs to, the, uh, to their organization. And when they, uh, they do that, the, the labs will turn them over to Beagle Freedom Project, and at that point they, uh, they foster out the dogs to caring families that they know can deal with this type of dog and the type of stress and the type of uh, physical harm that it's had done to it. Right, and that's how you got Barney, correct? Tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, I, I, what Barney had to go through and what you have to go through, you know, just to take care of Barney. Yeah, Barney spent uh, seven, seven years of his life in a uh, pharmaceutical laboratory. Um, we aren't exactly sure due to the fact, due to the... Uh, fact that they won't turn over what they've done to Barney. Um, we're not exactly sure, but what I do know right now is that Barney takes 16 medications a day. Oh. Those medications are to uh, help him with a lung issue. Uh, he was diagnosed with uh, fibrosis of the lungs. Basically, that's similar to when we were to get, you know, a smoker were to get COPD. Uh, Barney is terminal, and I don't know how long I'm gonna have him, but while I have him, I'm gonna do my best to give him the love that he deserves, and I'm also gonna do the best to get um, Beagle Freedom Projects, what, what their goal is, and do what's best for Barney. Oh, absolutely. He has such a sweetheart. And uh, you said, uh, you know, all these medications, just like with humans, medical care, it's not cheap. How much does it cost? Uh, how do you do that with the resources and trying to keep him healthy and make sure he has a great life? Well, Barney, Barney uh, as far as the testing goes, the Beagle Freedom Project has been great. The Beagle Freedom Project uh, did a fundraiser shortly after I, I got Barney, and they told me that it's for the rest of Barney's life, he will be taken care of. Um, they have, they've don't, due to the, the, the kind donors, uh, Barney is uh, gonna be cared for very well the rest of his life. Um, we, and the testing that we've had to do to just to get to the point where we know that about his lung issue has been in the thousands of dollars. Oh yeah, I can't imagine. And you're so passionate about this that what are you trying to do here in Ohio? Well, May 20th, 2014, the mm -hmm. Beagle Freedom Bill, which is a bill it's not to stop lab testing. We know that we're, we're still a good ways off from that. But what the, the Beagle Freedom Bill does is it requires the laboratories to, when they're done testing on the dogs, they have to release them okay. to okay. organizations like the Beagle Freedom Project that specialize in that testing. And on May 20th, 2014, they had their first breakthrough when the, when the Beagle Freedom Bill passed in Minnesota. Social media is also playing a big role in this. There's an app for everything. It, there's apps, I understand, for this is what I know what is being used as far as animal cruelty concerns, if I have concerns about that, how can I find out if these animals are being used for that kind of testing? Absolutely, it's called the Cruelty Cutter app. It is available on iPhone and Android. And what that does is you can go into your local supermarket or Family Dollar, wherever you buy your, your cleaning supplies, and you can scan those cleaning products. And the app will actually come back and tell you if this is cruelty-free product or if it's actually, uh, if animal testing is actually done on that. I guess what's so heartbreaking about this and kind of infuriating to me is you always think that you hear a laboratory mice and these other animals, I don't think of a beagle in that, no, and that kind don't. of a classification or category and it's, it's kind of infuriating to see. Yeah, right? out of the, the 70,000, yeah. approximately 70,000 yeah. dogs in captivity in these laboratories, 96% of them are beagles. Oh and the, my. And the reason why beagles are used are because beagles, um, of their docile nature, they want to please the humans, they want people to love them, mm -hmm. so they're willing to take the abuse and they keep coming back for more because they, they hope that at some point that, you know, if, if I keep letting you do this to me, will you be my friend, will you love me? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. gosh, well we can yeah. see just how, you know, he has captured your heart and, you know, thanks so much for talking and telling us about this project. Thank you very so much. much. Thank um, you. I know Thank that you very much you know, more people are going to want to do the same thing and, and help 
um, you know, animals like Barney. Now you can learn more about the Beagle Freedom Project just simply by logging on to myfox28columbus.com and clicking on news links.